Hey, good morning, my friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. It is a gorgeous Thursday morning, and it's so great to be spending time with all of you. We've got local bass. We've got more rain coming. What's with the bluefin tuna? The Danny Canota Show is tonight a great night at the Turner's Rod and Reel Club for me and Brian Wynn and so many others last night. You know what time it is, everybody. It's time for the morning briefing. Excuse me while I indulge for one moment. Mmm. Ah, delicious. All right, my friends. It is good to be back with you all. And, uh, you know, here we go again. More rain, it sounds like. And not that we don't need it here in SoCal. We do need it. If the uh, state of California could come up with a way to capture more of that rainfall, we wouldn't have a drought anymore anytime. But building reservoirs is way down on the list behind so many more important things. Don't get me started on water and the state and how the state could be capturing more water. All right, that's a political issue for another time. All right, great to be with you. Last night I was out there in Arcadia and what a great time we had with the Turner's Rod and Reel Club. Really nice folks and got to watch a fantastic seminar with Brian Wynn. He does so, I mean, he's one of the very best at this. He's so enthusiastic. He's so knowledgeable. And you combine that all together and you get what's going to turn into another podcast because I taped Brian last night at the Turner's Rod and Reel Club and you're going to want to watch that. You're going to want to enjoy that. It should be up here before 12 noon or so, and I know you'll learn a lot as Brian goes into exactly how to take on these big bluefin tuna in great detail, and he spells it all out for you. Really great to have a friend like Brian, and there were so many other wonderful folks there, including Denise and William Davis. William is the president of the... Whoa! I think everything's going to be okay. My coffee cup is gone. Oh, that is a tragedy. No more coffee for today's show. All right, this tide's really coming up on me, so I probably want to hurry up a little bit. As you just can see out there, still pretty big surf, but no wind on it at all. We're not going to have any wind for the next couple of days, so that is good. Back to Turner's Rod and Reel, William Davis, Denise Davis, everybody there. Thank you so much. Had such a great time with you all last night and don't forget you'll be able to check that video out here in just a little bit with brian also worth mentioning to all of you the danny cadota show tonight and danny is going to focus on weather and he's also going to focus on some of the incredible experiences and adventures he's had on the water especially with regard to weather like outrunning a hurricane or dealing with 65 mile an hour santa Ana winds so much more don't miss the Danny Cadota Show live tonight. You'll be able to participate and have lots of fun with Danny and learn a lot because the guy is so knowledgeable. He's another really wonderful person. Bar Hall Show in San Diego and Long Beach. Don't forget about those. Those are also coming up. All right, so let's jump across the border. I'm a little screwed up this morning, aren't I? I think that giant wave, that tsunami that just came in here scared the heck out of me. So let's jump across the border. And just mention that down in Cabo San Lucas and San Jose del Cabo, those areas are continuing to produce some really good marlin fishing. Excellent fishing going on down there in that neck of the woods. We continue to see a few thresher sharks down there. But the marlin bite, especially striped marlin, has been great down there for our friend Sean Morgan as he continues to have fun on the wild in sack and catching quite a few fish down there in that neck of the woods. We get you up to uh, the area around San Quentin and San Martin Island and the coastal area where there's nice big rockfish being taken. Really great fishing going on in that neck of the woods and some really good yellowtail fishing on 15 to 25 pound grade yellows on the yo-yo iron. That has been a great place to be fishing. 20 miles above that is the Colinet area where San Diego based boats are headed down into that neck of the woods and in that zone you're seeing copious amounts of big rockfish and we're also seeing some really excellent yellowtail signal down there. Yo-yo iron, definitely want to have that. I think the San Diego based boats are going to have a combination of that rockfish and yellowtail. It should be excellent. Don't fish that yo-yo iron fish in those really rocky, treacherous areas with anything less than 50. I prefer 60 pound. That is the way to get it done. Up there around the uh, Ensenada area, 
Well, hey, on the cover, that's Arnie Man, and he's been catching all kinds of great rockfish. Arnie Sport Fishing on Facebook. You should go down there and fish with him one of these times. Excellent rock fishing going on. There's some big bonita running around the Punta Banda area, and we also continue to see a few yellows here and there. Our friends out there on the Punta Banda area, about a 35-minute drive from downtown Ensenada. It's a great place to fish. I love Blackfin and Victor. They do such a great job, and they've been going south down there around Soledad Reef. Uh, really good rock fishing down there. More and more lings starting to move into the shallows. When that water gets good and cool in there in those uh, shallows, we see more lings moving in there. Fish alive, mackerel, that's a good way to go. Or just bouncing a jig off the bottom, fishing a big swim bait. They all work well down there on those lings. Really great fishing going on for those guys. And also, we continue to see that little signal of yellowtail down there. Hopefully, that's going to get with the program. Costa Baja Sport Fishing, Diego Nuno. Got to get down there and fish with him and hit that Calico Bass Zone around Punta Banda. That could be really, really great. And also, uh, they are also focused on some really excellent rock fishing down there in that neck of the woods. So, rockfish closed here in SoCal right now. Uh, you are going to have to go south of the border either by driving across and fishing with our friends down there or jumping on a San Diego based boat. Up and down the coast, we continue to catch sand bass here and there. A lot of shorts, Dana War Sport Fishing, they've been on at San Diego based landings. The half day boats, a lot of them are doing extended trips and running down across the border fishing rockfish. That's another option available to you all. But a lot of sand and calico bass. Um, also, uh, the Monte Carlo out of 22nd Street landing, when they can get a weather window, and the same thing applies to up there at Marina del Rey, they've just been really having great sand bass fishing with a lot of keepers. I mean, in some cases, they're catching limits of bass. Our local wintertime bass bite has been excellent. And having live squid or fresh dead squid really helps you to conquer the cooler water temperatures. It just entices those bass into biting. A few calico bass, mostly sand bass, really great fishing. You get some sculpin kicked in there in addition to that. At times, as I say, it has been limit style fishing. So you have the Monte Carlo. Uh, I'm sure the Long Beach based boats are trying to get on that. Uh, up there out of Marina del Rey, the Spitfire has been all over that. It has been really some excellent fishing. Now, let's talk weather for a moment before I just briefly mention the surf. Uh, here we go. We're going to have a couple of really nice days. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit big surf in here, but once you get outside there, as you can see, man, it's perfectly flat calm. Ideal for spying up a gray whale while you're out there as that migration is getting rolling and getting more and more momentum as gray whales move from the Bering Sea in Alaska down to the warm water lagoons in Baja, California. It's really a special and spectacular outdoor adventure. And if you can combine that on a fishing trip, man, you got the best of both worlds. No question about it. Incidentally, Tom Durer has the Judith Ann. It's a fast six pack out of 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California. She does 25 knots. Durer has been doing this for decades. He knows these local bass rocks better than anybody. And you can get a half day trip, five of you guys, let's say, for 600 bucks right now. 25 knots, and you're fishing in minutes. Tom can get you out there on a spot within about 20 minutes. So you really maximize your time. He knows what he's doing. Highly recommend, you know, if you could get a trip tomorrow, you're going to have a nice weather window. It's going to be very, very nice. So, man, it's actually feeling warm down here. It feels really, really nice. So really good local bass fishing. Again, that's going to be with a sliding egg sinker, like a half ounce, um, 20 pound. You want to fish fluorocarbon, www.opsonusa.com. Put in FA at checkout for a love note from Greg Brown and a free gift. You want to do that. And also, um, remember, these bass, they live near structure. They bite your bait, and they're going right back in that hole or right back in that structure. You have got to start turning the handle and getting line on those fish ASAP, especially if you have one of those big ones. They're going to smoke you in that territory, that dangerous territory, those rocks and sunken ships or whatever else they have taken refuge in and made their home. You've really got to pull a hard on them. So if you can get away with heavier, 30 pounds, something like that, if they're biting it on the squid, sometimes they'll bite the 40 pound, do it. 
in many cases they'll bite that with a bigger hook also i like a 1020 30 hook something like that buried in that squib it's a good way to get it done so some good fishing going on indeed on the surf it's a little bit on the difficult side but you can pick off a yellowfin croaker for sure in this kind of weather fishing a chrome crocodile like a three-quarter ounce will work really really well in addition to that you fish bait and winter time is when you have better results on bait here in the surf so keep that in mind you want to fish bait sandworms uh, go down here to big fish bait and tackle on the corner of seal beach boulevard and pch and they got all kinds of great bait down there that you can pick up and they got good intel also they're really the surf, uh, surf fishing place to be. When you want info, when you want bait, go down there and say hi to my friends at Big Fish Bait and Tackle. All right, my friends, we are monitoring and watching everything for you very, very closely. Again, if you want to get in on our raffle, it's uh, January the 19th. We're going to draw it at the Redondo Rod and Reel Club. That should be great. You want our charter list or you want any other information, just send me a text at 657 two two seven six four five nine and i'll pop out anything you want we can do the raffle by text you want to get in on that helps everything we're doing in mexico lindo sending more and more clothing and supplies down to our brothers and sisters south of the border all right my friends have a wonderful day enjoy the sunshine it's a really gorgeous morning Come on, get on down here and give it a try. You know what? The worst thing that'll happen to you if you don't catch a fish when you come down here, you'll have a lovely, peaceful, outdoor adventure. Who knows what you'll stumble across. You might see a whale, you might see some dolphin playing. It's really a beautiful day. And it says like Friday, more of the same. Saturday is when things start to deteriorate once again. And by the way, weather on Tanner Bank for the weekend, not good. So I don't think we'll catch any BFT out there in that neck of the woods this weekend. And also the weather on the coastal region, as well as offshore, is going to be up and down. But a lot of windy weather from Saturday afternoon until Wednesday. There'll be periods of calm, but a lot of windy weather in that window, if the forecast is correct. All right, once again... I really appreciate you spending time with me here this morning. It's always good to be with you. Look for the Danny Cadota Show later tonight. Brian Wynn with a great seminar and so much more as we keep the content going. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, tick that bell so you know when we've got new content for you. Of course, that's what we're doing this for, for you, so you can learn more about this great sport and participate when the bite is really good and share one of these videos with a friend really appreciate it all right my friends you know what i hope to see you really really soon have a great day take care The Southern California bluefin tuna bite is the envy of the world. Incredible fishing going on. Just check out this 200-pounder they weighed in on board the Freedom out of 22nd Street Land. If you don't pull like a demon possessed, you will lose. Looks like we're going to get color on it at any moment. Nice, nice fish. Let's see that. Brian, good job. Beautiful. Like Point Vincenny days back in the 70s. Look at that. Nothing right. better than a wide open calico bass bite along the Baja coast. Hola. Good one? Swimming with. Always uh, memorable times with Costa Baja sport fishing near Ensenada. Just giving them a little food, something to eat, getting them healthy. What's, we what's, call that curing bait, right? That is right, correct, Bill. Yeah, and curing them out. Yeah, it gets, gets a nice cold slime on the bait, Bill. A lot of females, Bill. That's because Phil you know, was There's here. several of these little spots up this way. I mean, I, I don't know where it's, I don't know where you got off to, but it's, this is the third one I've seen here. The other one's to the port a little bit. Hey, get ready here, guys. Oh, oh look at that thing. She's taking everything in there. Nice one, Mike. Woo! Yeah.
<laughs> nice, Mike. Yeah. Nice. Oh my God, nice fit. Danny, good job. Hey, what was that on? Thirty pound? Thirty. Uh, Beautiful, great. What grade is that? I had to go up the heavy line. Just put down. What do you think? Fifty-six or so. Yeah, nice fit. Up on a bass rod. Never go bear hunting with a BB gun. That's a nice one, pretty red fish. Good job, Mike. Good job, Jonathan. Fish is in the anchor, and these boys got it out. And good job. Yeah, yeah Rico. Look at this. Oh, you're good. Look at this. Marlin everywhere. Just Marlin. Marlin galore.